All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking to you today about the infiltration missions, the new invasion missions that have come with the first descendant. Now, with these new invasion missions, you can get access to Haley, the glacial marksman, the new descendant. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and pay the 900 Kuiper uh, for her, the 900 caliber, excuse me, for her, which equates out to $20. Now, if you want to play with a descendant that has no chance in the modules in order to figure out how to build her and waste a bunch of catalysts, by all means, go ahead and spend the $20. But until October 10th, 10th uh that is when her transcendent models do drop so anyway let's explain on how to go over this mission easily fundamentally and with the uh maximizing your time right because you only get a certain amount of time to do this now you're going to be paying attention to these silver totems and they go one two three four all right from top to bottom one two three four and then you're going to be seeing these drones that are floating around that have these symbols on them and above those symbols there are dots right you didn't know that you were playing a first ascended solo raid so there you go now the drones that are roaming around, there's usually three drones, they have different symbols and stuff. Now these symbols I have designated as Top Dome, Stick, Fork, and Spaceship. Now I have saw that first totem, I saw that Stick was in the slot of three, and I'm going to roll the dice and go ahead and pop this. So that is the totem there, that is three, the stick is in three, I see the three dots, I'm going to activate it, and if you do it wrong, then you will automatically wipe. So. It is easier for you to do this method and wipe and take the two seconds it takes to respawn versus you going around trying to find all the ones that match, right? So I know that is top dome. That is top dome in slot number three. And I am going to click it. I'm going to roll the dice again. And what do you know? I did get the gun. So I'm going to take this gun and I'm going to go over to this wall that is now highlighted with A, B, and C and you're gonna shoot the eyes, you get six shots. Now, when you have these six shots, you're not gonna be able to destroy all the eyes associated with that. So you're gonna to have to do this again for the totems, and this is what's going to maximize your time in finding the totems or finding the drone associated with the totems. Now, there are some other symbols that you might see. Now, this one right here, I have designated as bottom dome and the letter C. So no, which, no matter which way you look at that, that is the letter C, and that is a inversion of the dome. So it's a bottom dome, you have a top dome. It's pretty easy to remember that way, right? Instead of calling it like an ice cream cone. You're gonna take that gun, you're gonna go back and destroy the last eye with three shots, and then you're gonna proceed on your way. When you actually get to the final boss, in this area specifically, this boss is kind of a nuisance, as he has these stupid red walls and he shoots you with these homing missiles that do a lot of damage so come in here with a maxed out character you can have mediocre guns my guns are still mediocre because finding those red mushrooms are a pain in the butt now this is the damage phase timer once you shoot him with the three shots you have a limited amount of time that you can put dps on him and most descendants with a very good i say fully catalyzed character are going to be able to you know survive the hits that he gives you as you're not going to be able to get carried by glaze and bunnies anymore you're going to have to do this on your own so i'm not going to make any friends with this video but if you do want a cracked out maxed out blair built that is the first ascendant incendiary bomb build that i have for blair now once you actually do complete this mission which i've completed in seven minutes and 15 seconds with my maxed out cracked out blair and his mediocre guns i was able to complete in seven minutes and 15 seconds hopefully you remember these symbols hopefully the names for these symbols do help you out in order to do these types of missions a lot quicker a lot faster and you go ahead and roll the dice and get the Haley materials like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one